Hi, welcome to this uh, clean installation of uh, Arco Linux on a particular new piece of equipment. I have uh, given myself a Christmas present. It's called the 970 EVO from Samsung NVMe M.2. We had a discussion, I think, a week or two ago on the forum. It says, look, I have problems installing uh, Arc Linux on this particular new system. So let's first take a look at what and where we are. So we are on Arc Linux 19.01. And if we ask our inc minus b, then you'll get more information. Let's do that again. So it's better layout. So we have here a motherboard. That's the motherboard we're working on with a Strix Z270H gaming from more or less a year and a half ago. Okay. So that's the hardware we're working on. Back then in the years, I thought, hey, I'm gonna buy already a motherboard where I can have these M2 things. So M.2 kind of interface that lies down here. It's not does not stand up like PCIs or anything like that, or graphical cards. No, it's it just lies down there. And this is the connector where it's going to go in. I'll put that picture later on, on the article. So I have an old motherboard and now I have a new, <laughs> a new SSD. It's also an SSD, but it's called 970 EVO. So let's have a look. So it's um, this is what I can find on the Samsung website. An SSD that goes further, 970 EVO delivers breakthrough speeds, etc., etc. This is the thing that's in here, but of course not two terabyte, but 256, I guess, 250 gigabyte. Is there and it's the next level SSD speed it's all marketing of course but the numbers do match up so 3500 megabytes or 3.5 gigabytes per second up to 32% faster writes than previous generation okay great so it's a fast thing right intelligent turbo right doesn't design flexibility this is the thing that I plugged in by the way um, so this thing goes in the connector, but this actually is lies on the motherboard, but it just pops off from it. I had to find a little screw and the screw was not in the box of Samsung. So you definitely need something very small. It's not the general uh, screw that you use to attach your motherboard to your um, case. It's a very, very small thing. Luckily for me, I had uh, some leftovers from old laptops or computers I don't know where they come from but uh, this very small screw fitted right in there so it's now uh, I'm now working on this thing here NVMe there was no issue installing Arc Linux on it actually I kind of kind of forgot you know how it goes probably the the 500th time I install Arc Linux so next 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 hop and I, I forgot already to check hey is this SDA or is this uh, where's the the grub going etc so everything installed without me thinking about it really. So we have here some explanations. Of course, we don't have this thing here since we're on Linux. This is the M.2 thing, that's correct. I have this one and the speed should be up to this for the read and to the right is a little bit less. And weight, well, doesn't care, very light, very small, it's about eight centimeters on two centimeters you don't even feel it it was lying here on my desktop and I thought oh it's such a small thing so yes it's um, trim support yes smart support yes okay you take a look then I went to look um, further for n.2 Wikipedia take a look at all the technical stuff um, read it not in detail but just from uh, left to the right so you more or less know what's going on, what it has, all the pins. I don't care about the pins, but just following some links up here, interface will speed up your SSD. Been reading a bit. And then you can have people that have benchmarked already this, this system. So benchmarking Samsung, it's a 960. Okay, I have the 970. Probably it's just gonna be better, as simple as that. This is the thing that's in our system. That looks a little bit different. But okay, it's, uh, it's a 970 now. Uh, and here we see lots of figures, random read. 
it's done on a Windows server and so all the figures that you can follow and another another website what are what I was looking at reading 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 but basically you want to know is this a fast thing or not we can do some testing as well it's maybe not that professional but it gives us an idea and the speed is actually tested by humans I mean if you have the feeling that it's faster then it is just great we have this um, well extension 4 so the actual file system or actual root you can test it in here with a benchmark and I've done that already as you see we have 3.3 gigabyte per second so that's the number we saw up here they say 3.5 okay 3.3 is not that bad up to right up to so that's a number so you can start a benchmark I can do it again just to show you let's change something up some more gigabytes start benchmarking go ahead benchmark and we have 3.4 gigabytes per second so yes um, that sounds like it's a fast thing so that's one thing you can do the other thing you can do as well is take a look at gport that's also something i did after the installation so it's not sda anymore it's called nvme o n1 partition 2 partition 1 partition 2 partition 3 and the rest is unallocated so it's the device name is no longer sda but basically i couldn't care less i mean it just installed fine and um, i see i've already to do some updates uh, but that's it everything was working out of the box this is our uh, purchase so if you want to try it out this is a 970 evo that i tried out with pci i think connection you check it out what exactly is this this reference here but i'll put the pictures online so you know exactly what it is i think it's pci it just say put and, and on the sticker so i guess it's um, the rest has fallen off but it should be that one i could say in the video already maybe it's a reference we could check it out immediately if it's a reference or not they call it also mz v 7 e 250 bw better okay uh, it seems this comes out And this kind of looks what I have bought and what's in my machine. The back end is indeed something flat, nothing in behind here. And this is exactly, 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 yep, exactly the box I have. So probably this is the guy I bought. So for only $80, you have this little, in uh, this beautiful, fast little thing. I'm gonna play around with it because it's just one hour that I've played around with it. So. Um, in a few days I'll know I'll have the feeling if it's a faster article Linux or not all right enjoy